Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Land Survival Challenge. Yeah, we're back here uh, with our, you know, new, uh, it actually is new, uh, Lime Spreader that we uh, got last episode. And I think last episode I mentioned I was not going to put lime on this field, but we have a bit before this field is ready to harvest. So we want to make as much money as we can, and we do have a bit of lime. So we can use it here. Uh, we could save it technically, or uh, put it on a grass field. But you know what? Not going to put it on the uh, grass field because, well, well, sorry, on our soon to be expanded part of the grass field, because we have actually, uh, we did lime. I think I'm pretty certain we, certain, certain we limed the grass field last time. But uh, yeah, but what I love here uh, with the Precision uh, DLC, uh, Precision Farming DLC to be more precise, is a little mini map. So we're doing pretty decently uh, going up and down in a fairly relatively straight line. As our burn rate on our lime just continues oop, to go down, uh, I had to put the brakes on. Did not want to destroy our beautiful fence, you know. It has been in the family for generations. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I just did not want to hit it. Oh man, oh, just imagine this game if it had like actual collision damage. Oh, oh my goodness. The amount of money I'd have to spend on repairs of things and including not my own properties and other folks' cars. That would be, that would be bad. That would be bad. But what isn't bad is how well we're doing from a driving perspective overall, though. I will take it. So now we're not going to get too far. We're down to 50, 40. Yeah, countdown is on and we are spent. No more, uh, no more. So, but uh, much improved uh, field. So that that's a good thing. Now, I think what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to park this bad boy uh, right behind us here. Leave that part. And now what I think we're going to do is uh, say goodbye for the month of March and see the month of April. And just like that, April has arrived along with a great demand at the farm shop for stuff. But uh, we really don't have anything to sell. At least that's really going to help us at the moment. So we're going to cut our little grass field. So one mower and one baler would be really, really handy. Ooh. Oh, nailed it. Perfect. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now what I should do... Get that unfolded. Get that lowered, get that on. And we will come back to our baler and we'll make sure it's all turned on. Why is that important? It, well, because we can get a little bit of extra grass as we work our way back up to the top of the field. Okay, let's turn it off now because there's no grass on our did you not lift up? Okay, wrong implement. There we go. Get the front mower up. Because we need all the help we can. Ooh. This will be fun, but it's a grass field. We're not trying to get our big, massive... Big, massive. <laughs> Where are you parked? A little, a little uh, vintage uh, harvester up this hill. That, that would be rough on it, uh, 100, 100%. So lower it, it is on. And now we can just uh, zip along here. Now what we're doing is this, this is a very awkward piece of uh, grass, or grass field here. But for now, it is the extra you know, though I could have, maybe I should have done something different, but we're, we're fine. We're fine for now. 
So we do need to have access to uh, grass just to make some easy money with the silage. But as I've said before, I am trying to avoid silage palooza. So we will do our best. Now, I will, I think, in the future have a legit actual grass field because that just, just makes sense. I do want to be able to make some good money from silage, but I did want something different than having one big, massive grass field. This, you know, that's the easy way to make money. And it's not necessarily the fun way to make money. So I think in real life here, as we're trying to build up our farm and you know, get into productions and all this stuff, only so much grass we would end up really cutting. And since we have everything we need to, for the crops, it, it just makes sense to me. Ooh, but this poor tractor's like, hey, does it make sense for me? Yeah, you're the best tractor on the farm. Sorry, tractor but you are gonna do all the heavy jobs right now. All the big jobs. Oops. And apparently I'm being punished for that because that was a terrible turn. It's fine. We gotta come up and back anyways. Not a big deal. But, you know, some quick extra uh, silage money is on its way. Well, we're getting there, and you know what's getting there too is my patience with this uh, field design. But, uh, you know, I don't know who, who came up with this, but wowzers. Okay, it's, it's gonna get easier as I expand and make that a, a grass field. But yeah, the uh, I very much prefer a square, rectangular, but with this, you know, with these, uh, Rock formations definitely causing some issues. Now, also, my erratic driving. It's not erratic, I swear, officer. I'm, I'm good. There is no flavor in my coffee. It is not Irished up. It is, it is perfectly fine. So, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, definitely not my cup of tea here, but I think we're going to get better as we expand. Now I could drive around and try to get a little more in the in the baler, but I think that is good for now. I don't think we're gonna get any real benefit out of continuing to uh, try to get a another bale here. I don't think that's gonna happen. So what I wanna do, uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look here. As you can see, we've got our two fields. Uh, what do we have planted again? It's been a minute. Oh, I probably should just run over. Oh yeah, sorghum. There we go. That's one of them. Uh, not uh, not wheat. Where is the other one? Oh yeah, soybeans. There we go. So if we look at that, uh, what do we say here? Uh, soybeans and sorghum. Come here. Both of these are darn near near ready. But our actual wheat field, you can tell she's got a while to go. So, but that's that's fine. The other thing I'll point out quickly: chickens are growing up and doing doing okay, uh, and as well and reproducing. And as well, if we come and have a look at our productions. You can see we've got plenty of wood still making uh, the planks and some furniture. And then thanks to our handy dandy time saving stock check mod, you can see how well we're doing. Right now, there is actually some good value here in our planks, but we are gonna move on to the month of June here. And we got some furniture to make money as well. So not bad, not bad at all. 
So I think once again, we're gonna take a little, little nap and, ooh, look at the eggs. Nice job, ladies. Uh, and I think we'll go and see ourselves in the month of May. Well, just flying through the, the months here. So we do thankfully have some stuff to harvest, which is good. Ooh, we have rain on the way. That is not good. But uh, we'll start here with our soybean field. It is the closest. And I'm quite anxious actually to get this harvested so I can, ex well, I've expanded the field, but obviously plant more crop. That's going to be good. Ooh, you know what I should have done? That's Sargon. Uh, not that it matters too much, but we could have cultivated uh, this area up and been ready for this. Now we will, yeah, we'll cultivate it up. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, we'll plow it up, we'll expand the field. And then what we're going to do is take our soil samples to get a better reading on this particular field. Be a little bigger. Uh, I think we might plant soybeans again. It is a nice crop. Oops, why did I expand my boom arm? It's not like we need to do that at the moment. It's not like it's going anywhere. Although it didn't make me any, hang on. 10 kilometers an hour. And 10 kilometers an hour, yeah. Wasn't expecting it to, but I'm like, hmm, don't think that actually slows me down, but. Ooh, bit of a dip there. Who the heck did the landscaping in this area? Terrible job, terrible. Okay, that was me. It was me, not the map maker, it was me. So this is good. Have to be in a position to start making some uh, more money, but also doing something besides cutting grass. Now I think what I am gonna do to be as effective as possible. We'll get around this corner here. And I think we will set this fellow off on a on a helper. Oh, we're gonna go all the way around. Yeah, this is a bit of an odd shaped field, but much better than the grass field. Much better. But yeah, let's let's expand that and get that going. Plenty of room in the uh, combine here for the, the soybeans for the harvest, so we're fine there. Not not a problem at all. So set that off on a helper. Grab a tractor. Let's take the strong one. Back this baby up. Yeah, there we go. Some great driving skills there. Ooh, I didn't even ram it into the back shed. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to have to have words, sir. Kind of missed some parts. Okay, that's fine. So what we don't want to do is expand this, or sorry, go over where we don't need to. little overlap not not a big deal come around now I could I could but we're not going to I could do some more landscaping to uh, smooth things out but I think we're fine the way it is Ooh, sart gone what are you up to did I actually I might have stolen some trees thanks to the lumberjack mod uh oh where are we okay okay and go a little more this way. Very, very strange. Just the way things look here. Now, I don't know about you, but I can get discombobulated quite easily. Just by the, any particular direction. So, 
Let's stay away from the water. We don't want to take our combine in there. Although Lord knows it, it's probably the only time it's going to get washed. Yeah, that is... Oop. That is, that is very true. This, this will help. More money. For sure. Clean things up. You know what I'm going to do too while we're coming in this direction? Just do that. Perfect. Ish. And maybe I should cut down those trees, but I, you know, I, I, I do want to keep it in interesting. We do not need to uh, do every little bit. Although, might have to come in with the landscaping tool. We'll double check the boundaries there. I think we're out of out of bounds. Obviously, we got a warning. But we can clean that up so it doesn't look like we did anything improper. We will hide the evidence. I mean, we will fix the property that is not ours. Yeah, that that sounds that that sounds legit. Yeah, and for those who don't know, this is a modded subsoiler. It is great. It does up to nine meters, six or nine meters configuration. Pretty nice. Very good investment uh, if you're going to be, very least, creating a lot of fields. The uh, re price for this, I don't know off the top of my head, but it is definitely affordable, and it is definitely a good goodbye or goodbye. Don't leave. Please stay. It is a good. Purchase? Yeah, yeah, that sounds a lot better. Okay, now let's see. Can I clean this up at all? I think we can. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so I think that's it. So let's come into our construction menu. And we will just do a tad bit of painting. We've got a lot of options here. I think just the grass is fine. There we go. We do not want to treat this like it's ours. Because it sounds like it isn't. So we will do this. Kind of well that and then what we'll do is we'll put a little grass in there there we go none the wiser there is no proof of any of our improprietary so that's good we can fold that up Ooh, please don't tip please don't tip man like if if I wanted to risk a tipping, I'd drive. Um, um, okay, so we can put this away. Now, the next thing is, we need to go find our cedar. I think I did leave this up in our shed. Pretty confident that's where I put it. Yes, sir. There it is. And when I say put it, I actually do mean put it because I actually had to park it here versus uh, just leaving trailers and stuff lying around out in the middle of nowhere. There is a difference. You must believe me. All right. How full are we? Not much. Ooh. So I think we're going to have to take a quick spin up to the store. Before we do, okay, that's all liquid fertilizers and herbicides. Yes, sir. Okay, we've got a bit of a trek. Okay, so we have some product lying around. Okay, some seed. Not bad, so we maybe need one more bag. And uh, how could we forget our uh, 
Leave bag of fertilizer here. Oh! Don't hurt myself. Oh, I might have got a hernia. Oh. There we go. We're over. Perfect. Yep, fertilizer. Uh, so how much space do we have? I think it's a thousand liters of fertilizer. Let's let's quickly let's get into the right area. We're at the store. We want to buy stuff. So I think one bag of fertilizer. And then we will buy one bag of seeds. There we go. Do we need another bag of fertilizer? Oh no, we're good. Full up. And we are going to leave some seeds there. Perfect. Really? 830 liters. Why do I think I got at least a thousand liters in these things? Oh well. But as we expand, we can get some more of these and uh, I think do two, three. Yeah, might do three at a time here. So when we get the larger fields, things will go that much faster. Oh, quick trip up, quick trip back. Oh, you know what I should do? Hang on, hang on. Uh, before we do this, uh, we sh okay, we've got two things to do so we can uh, get things uh, completed here today. First off, there is uh, some soybeans that uh, the helper did miss right here. So we can just, uh, that's money and that's, that, that is our money. So we, we definitely want that. There we go. Uh, hopefully. Oh, with our big, long boom arm here. There we go. That can get unloaded. Now, actually, while that's unloading, let's see here. Ooh, soon to be a really good price, the soybeans, in the month of July. That is perfect. So, not that we have... Okay, well, it's not bad. $14,000 we can make there. Every penny counts. So we have that. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take uh, our long forgotten uh, starting tractor. Uh, no, it's not forgotten. It's just not my preferred one to use. But we are going to ram. Oh, my goodness. As I talked about, good thing there's no actual, you know, collision damage. Ooh, we we would be in a world of hurt. Okay, so how do we get this thing going again? We gotta lower it. Oh, we gotta unfold it. There we go. There we go, perfect. So we wanna take advantage of this. Because with the soil sampled, the cedar will be that much more efficient. Assuming it's good soil type. Come on up here. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can see here. Now, this is what I wish I had have with. Uh, with. Oh, excuse me. Uh, when we're creating a field. Look how precise is. I can see with the precision uh, farming uh, mod here, DLC, that I am now right on the property line. Ooh we. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, we did nudge into a uh, property that is not mine. So there we go. The last little bit. And we just need now to send that off. Lift it up. No, don't, no, 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 no. Oh. Didn't think it would do it. Okay, send the soil samples. Gone. As I cry about an extra one that I've taken. Let's, let's slink back. Take this back to our 
you know, I'd say barn, but it wasn't even underneath the uh, cover because, well, that's how much I care about this. Oh, no, it's not true. One day we will have a better yard, but, you know, we might want to change the outhouse first. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, so that is done. Now that we come in here, we can come here. You can see, yeah, loam and sandy loam. So it's probably sandy loam through here and this being loam, yep. Well, I should have. Well, somebody remind me next time. Uh, but we're gonna get this done. Now, one of the things you might notice is the fact that, uh, yeah, we have sorghum. Yeah, I am going to make this field, the smaller field, the sorghum field, at least to switch things up. And that next time, ooh, well, we're going to have to come back. Oh, yes, that's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, uh, there's that. I think we're going to make that uh, a soybean field. And, oh, okay, yeah. They have different texture, different texture. You know, they started panicking. Uh, but yeah, we can make some more money, I think, that way. Uh, making soybeans, our primary crop, the larger the crops. Come up here. A little loop-de-loop -loop on the way back. So yeah, this, this is going to be much better. Although, you see what I see? Do you see what I see? That should be a lot, a lot better. Okay, so this should do it. Yeah, that, that's a lot better. A lot better. Much, much happier. Okay, so let's get this fella out of the way for now. Almost tipped the tractor. But we didn't. That's, that's all that matters. We didn't tip it. I'm very happy about uh, this decision here to, I think, to make this sorghum field. I think it's going to be, it's going to pay off. It's, we'll have enough for the chickens. That That's the big thing, is the chickens like their food and the eggs uh, from our little growing chicken empire. Uh, it's going to help us. So hopefully, what I'm hoping... It's looking like right now, likely the month of July, that we would be in a position to hopefully sell enough product so that we can buy another plot of land. I'm really looking forward to that. You know, we're continuing to make uh, planks and bits of furniture, which is good. Uh, the other thing is, uh, we'll have some eggs. So some stuff we might sell off their best price just to have the cash but if we don't need the cash we will definitely uh, sell the product later but this is uh, definitely a challenge and something I learned from the Elm Creek series is don't be afraid to sell early um, because cash in hand does a lie to do things and since we're playing remember one of the rules here uh, self-imposed but one of the rules we have here no loans so Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, need cash. But as you can tell, we're, we're growing quite well. And we will need some cash for my plans for that front field. Ooh, you know what I should also use some cash for is some driving lessons. Man, is it easy to get distracted. So, so easy. Well, here it cometh the rain. Now, thankfully, uh, planting uh, does not uh, get uh, diminished or damaged by the fact that it's raining. In fact, in theory, this should be a good thing. And part of the good thing is take the opportunity to hide any evidence of my poor driving skills. So, looking good. So we've just got this area to do. There are some bits and bobs I think I will go back and uh, touch up. Like, I think I missed that little area. 
should be afraid or not be afraid of doing a little overlapping, which I tend to get too cheeky by like, okay, let's maximize to 100% uh, my reach. And then I miss bits. It happens. Learn from me, folks. There we go. We are basically done. Now, hopefully, the rain's gonna be done uh, so that I can also, in this month, harvest the sorghum field. But for now, I think this is where we're gonna leave it. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.